Hey guys, it's me Judith and today I am going to be relaxing my hair. I have always had really sensitive scalp so I only left it on for 10 minutes I personally feel 10 minutes is really really long enough for you to leave your relaxer on I do not recommend going more than 10 minutes um, unless you feel like you need to but at this point right here I felt it was long enough for me to go ahead and wash off my relaxer alright guys here's my ugly ass right out of the shower I wanted to feel myself right out of the shower because I wanted to feel my immediate first reaction to my hair. What really shook me guys was how flat my hair is. Like look how flat this hair is. It's like I have no hair. Alright guys, so the point of this video was to document my journey from natural to relaxed. I like being able to look back to my past and to my past videos or past life like this. Um, I hope it was fun for you to see how my hair transitioned from natural to relaxed. If you are new to my channel, be sure to watch my old natural hair video to learn more about my natural hair journey. Um, yeah. I shampooed my hair about three times in the shower. I shampooed it twice with the neutralizing shampoo and I shampooed it one more time with my own shampoo and then I conditioned it twice or used my conditioner twice on my hair in the shower. Just wanted to make sure that I got off all the chemical. And right after, I applied some more of my melted natural, 100% natural African shea butter onto my scalp just to help it feel more oiled and more um, moisturized. And then I massage the oil into my scalp. I started learning about relaxed hair, my relaxed hair personally, right after relaxing it. Um, one of the things that I learned was that it still takes really really long time for my hair to dry for some reason i thought my hair took a long time to dry because it was natural um but even after it was relaxed it took for like it took two days for my hair to feel completely dry i used my blow drying brush on cool certain to help my hair dry faster So in the week that I have been relaxed, I have learned some interesting stuff about my relaxed hair and here they are. 
my hair is flat it is always flat right now it has a little bit more volume because i just puffed it up but it is so flat i have also learned my ends are not as healthy as i thought they were when i was natural i would only chop a tiny bit off when it's time to cut it but it is 10 times obvious that my ends needs to be chopped now that my hair is relaxed okay guys so for me of all of them this is the most surprising fact that i learned about my relaxed hair my relaxed hair actually floats on water my hair has always been high porosity and has always sunken in water but then again everyone's hair is different maybe other people's hair gain porosity after relaxing it but for some reason mine lost porosity which is a good